Ronnie had started out originally, he had a great motion, a very good motion in the 90s, in the beginning. Um, he had gotten a hold of Frank, all his friends, and they had really rallied around him. And I had spoken to them myself and Barry and the whole crew, and we were all prepared and ready to go into court. There was... I don't remember his name. Um, the, the guy who turned him in for the outboard motors was in the process of, of making out a statement stating that he had seen Butch and Bobby together in town before 6 o'clock at Henry's Bar. So everything was coming into place. I went to see well, Butch told me that I had to get up there, up to, to see him. It was a desperate situation. He, um, like he forged his birth certificate, he's so masterful to make himself his father and graduate from high school, of course. He um, knew that there are no birth records on me because basically I was illegally adopted. And he said, well, you don't have a birth certificate. And I said, no matter how I get a birth certificate. And he said, so if you had a brother, it, he wouldn't have a birth certificate either. And I said, I don't have a brother. And he said, yeah, you do have a brother. And he, he made up the character of Richard Romando. He told me he was going to get out of jail and oh my God. So I said, okay, whatever. Sometimes it's best to agree with Butch and fight with him later. And we had been battling. So I said, okay, whatever. When I went to the facility, <laughs> he had some papers, and I do mean he had some papers. He had written out, typed out a whole complete basic story about my brother Richard and playing whatever the hell they were supposedly doing that night and Butch and my brother running off and he had my brother throwing the gun in the canal and everything. And when I saw it, I said that was the first time I had great admiration and respect for Bobby Kelsky. When I got it home and I read the damn thing, it blew me away because I said, oh my God, Richard Romando is Bobby Kelsky. I went to the prison and I told Butch, you know, I said, what the hell? And he said, before I could get out the words, he said to me, Yes, baby, Bobby Kelsky is now Richard Romando, and you will do this thing. I talked with a couple of his friends, and we thought that there was a possibility that if we went to the police, actually, John and I thought that if we went to the police and told the police that all of this was true, except it wasn't Richard Romando, it was... Bobby Kelsky. So John wrote a letter to Suffolk County and said that Butch had asked him to sign a false statement. And he, the police, of course, took themselves up to Bainbridge, New York to see John. And he told them, Ronnie has asked me to blatantly lie, perjure myself, commit fraud, you know, make a mockery of the justice system. He has told me that he has created people, and he wants me to sign an affidavit to the fact that this person exists. And John said, I know Bob Kelsky. I know him well. I don't know where he is, but this is not no Richard Romano. This is Bob Kelsky. When the police came to me, well, actually what happened was his attorney drove. He had two different attorneys because one passed away. His attorney drove up here, and I got in the car with his attorney. We spent six hours, whereupon I explained to this first attorney what Ronnie was, who dropped the case and then died shortly after. 
He then got another attorney who I, I basically liked his new attorney. And the new attorney, you know, kind of like tried to bamboozle me, talk very fast to me, and blah, 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 you know, and you're going to do this and you're going to testify. Well, I, I had to call the attorney and say, look at, listen up, these are all lies, and no, I'm not going to testify. You know, I am not going to testify. John called the attorney and said, look at, this is Bob Kelsky, this ain't no Richard Ramonda, and I'm not going to testify. Only one of his flunkies did testify that Richard Ramonda existed. One of the same flunkies swears to God that he met Richard Ramondo in a bar with Ronnie, now swears that I am a liar. You know who the one flunky was, don't you? Barry. Barry. You know how the fuck Barry Springer writes an affidavit and says he spent out, he knew my brother from Henry's, from the chatterbox. I, I called him up on the phone. I said, Barry, what the fuck is this? He said, well, Jerry, you know I got to do what I got to do. You heard Barbara tonight. Mm -hmm. Him telling her, Barbara, I'm sorry, but I got to do what Ronnie tells me. You know, unfucking believable And I do mean unfucking believable He's t I said, what in the fuck are you going to do when them police start looking for a social security? Oh, he told them that my brother ran away to Texas because my brother's ex-wife stole his kids and my brother was in a in a uh, some hotel down in Texas. Here's the freaking Suffolk County police searching all over damn Texas looking for this phony brother. I said to him, Butch, what are we going to do? And I say we, what are we going to do? When them cops look for a, a marriage license for Richard Romando and his estranged wife that he ran and stole his kid, a birth certificate for Richard Romando's son. I mean, I don't have a birth certificate, but how many people do you think are not going to have birth certificates? You're going to say, you know, this, that, and the other? You're telling them, what, he never had a social security? card. He never went to school anywhere. I have school records. I have a social security card. You know, I had a driver's license. Oh, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. When that cop told me, he said, look at these papers. I almost pissed. Because do you know what was on those papers that Richard Romando had? No school records. No vaccination records. No church records. No driver's license, no registration for the military, no nothing, no marriage license. There was four pages of what Richard Romando didn't have. And I said to him, you are crazy. But Barry Springer met Richard Romando in a bar. Mm-hmm.